guys, it's Smalls, and today I wanted to do a video regarding why I think I see and have seen so many paranormal things, and just kind of like I guess my two theories on why that might be. The first one is probably the fact that my parents never really shunned um, my belief in the paranormal, and I was always allowed to investigate the paranormal and ghosts and UFOs and just things like that. <laughs> I actually remember being about 12, 11 or 12, and going to the main library in Toledo and asking the librarian for books on ghosts and UFOs, and she laughed at me, but she showed me where they were, and of course I checked them out and I read them, and I wasn't interested in the fake ghost stories, I wanted to know about the real ones, the ones that were reported to be real, I suppose. And um, as you've seen in my other videos and as you will continue to see in my future videos, my family had experienced a lot of these things with me as well. So I kind of think, you know, it, it kind of depends on what you believe, but I do believe that we have a third eye and I think the fact that they never shut that off for me has helped me. Um, continue to see things in my adult life. The, the second reason why I think I've seen so many paranormal things is actually in my blood. I think that it's my Hungarian side of the family that really kind of um, perpetuates this. Now that's not to say that my dad hasn't had weird things happen to him. Um, my grandmother, his mother, was actually a, a witch. She was a kitchen witch. So I mean she's kind of got so, I mean, I've kind of got that from my dad's side, too, in terms of, like, the uh, esoteric magical side. Does that make sense? Um, but in terms of, like, the Hungarian side, um, I was always told that my family, my ancestors were gypsies. And I don't, I don't view that as, like, a derogatory term. I know that in the past it has been. Um, but I don't really go around calling myself a gypsy just because I do try to be politically correct when I can. I don't want to insult anyone um, whatsoever. But a uh, really interesting fact that kind of confirms this for me, and uh, I actually just learned about this within like the last couple of weeks. I found a second cousin through Facebook. Her, gra her grandfather was my grandfather's brother. So she, I think she's my second cousin, and she also has experienced a lot of things and is also, you know, kind of in tune with these kind of things. Overall, I don't think that if you weren't raised uh, believing in spirits and if uh, you don't have ancestors that were spiritual in that way, that doesn't, like, neglect your or negate, that doesn't negate your ability to see things like that. I think sometimes we're just born that way. Um, but I do think that it plays a lot into my being able to see these things. Um, and I don't want to come off like snobby about it or something like that because it's not always a good thing. People often don't believe you. I'd say it's about half and half in terms of people who believe my experiences. Um, and that's okay. I, I honestly... If I hadn't experienced the, th experienced the things that I've experienced, I don't know if that I would believe it either. So, with that said, if you're interested in continuing to hear more about my stories and my life and my experiences and kind of delve more into these topics with me, please do consider subscribing. I do appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you later. Bye.